Hey guys, you're Warrior Creepers, and welcome back to my Freedom Minute 17. 17? I almost said 16. Gotta get used to saying 17. FIFA 17, Liverpool Crew, where our last time we left off. Oh, we uh, picked up a, another win in, in the Capital One FA uh, English League, whatever the fuck it's called now. Oh, EDF, EFL, whatever, Cup, the, the Carlin Cup, that's, that's what we all know it best as, that's what we're gonna fucking call it, okay, just, just for the record, from now on, when I mention it, I'll say Carlin Cup, and we all know what I mean, because, that's what we all, because, it keeps changing, and, and it's hard to keep up, <laughs> yeah, we picked up a win, and then, that over West Ham. Uh, relatively poor West Ham. And, uh, to, unfortunately, as uh, disappointing as it will be to West Ham fans who... If, if you're a West Ham fan and you uh, happen to be subscribed to me, I'd say you might want to give that episode a miss. Just, 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 just a thought. Just a thought. Because, uh, you didn't paint your uh, team in the best light. Uh, I also picked up a fantastic win over Hull oh, in the league. And now, we're actually caught up. Oh, an international break did something good for once. <laughs> because this is the most recent Premier League in the against Swansea, which Liverpool well, we're lucky to win, but, uh... Today as well. I'll take that any day I can get it. Because... You need a bit of luck. You need a bit of luck. I mentioned... I think I mentioned in a... Did I talk about that one? I might not have. No, I think I did, about my uh, encounter with a few Manchester United fans on the crowd scores app, and how they were uh, trying to take the piss that Liverpool had gotten lucky for that, for the, uh, for this game, and for this re game's uh, real life counterpart, and uh, how, who, that was Kel Kain and our Kel Kel or situation. Very famous clubs in uh, the top flight. I don't know what's showing me Manchester United. Um, I know they're my next game in this. This, but I should not, I, I, I'm focusing on Swansea right now. So far. Oh, I'll get to my mid match in a minute. Hold on, game. You're getting ahead of me. You know, you're... Good challenge here. But yeah. Uh, it was quite laughable. Well, and since then, I've actually had to come up against some knucklehead Arsenal fans. Who have short, must have short term memory loss. Now, Short term memory loss is no joke. I forget things all the fucking time. I don't know if I have short term memory. I, oh, I actually, no, it's just forget. And shit. Yeah, because of short term memory loss, I would forget almost everything. I've never met anyone with short term, personally met anyone with short term memory loss, so I don't really know how much about it. But, Arsenal fans, I have. Short-term memory loss or selective memory loss, because they, if if any Arsenal fans watching this video, who are subscribed to the Arsenal fan YouTube channel, there was a video that went up called Arsenal talking about Arsenal's defense possibly being the best in the league. And I made a comment that Liverpool scored four against said 
such good defense. Now, <clears throat> someone commented back that they had holding and, and chambers in that game. Holding was Arsenal's best defender that day, and Chambers scored a goal. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds awfully like an excuse, which I call such bull shit on. Because if a, if a Liverpool fan like me tried to make that excuse, we would get such slaying from other fans, including Arsenal, and yet they're making this, it's like, they can get away with it. No, you fucking can't. Except you lost, it doesn't matter who you had in defense. Your defense was poor. Liverpool ripped through it. I don't know if Mustafi and Koscielny would have made a difference. They probably wouldn't have, because Arsenal's, Liverpool's attack that day was on fire. D do you remember? Or do you want to go watch the fucking highlights? You daft cunts. And then some idiot has the audacity to insult my mother. Her. 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 So I fucking report that fucking cunt because he's a fucking cunt. But seriously, because I point out the truth, he insults my, my mother. And they make excuses. What fucking bullshit. Look, we all all lose. We all all get stuck playing players we don't want to have have our team playing. Holding was brought in by Arsene Wenger. Holding was played by Arsene Wenger. Arsenal oh, and, and if you want to look at somebody he to complain to, fucking complain to your manager. Don't come with to me with that bullshit because you're, if because I fucking guarantee if Liverpool, if the Redmond he he was just a Liverpool fan channel, well if we had made a uh, uh, thing called I'll do Liverpool have the best attack in the league, I guarantee you someone would comment. No, Man City have the best attack in the league, or Spurs have the best attack in the league. And really, we couldn't argue. I mean, while well, we've been good in an attack this season, can we really compete with uh, at their best? Manchester City with Kevin De Bruyne and Spurs on fire even without Harry Kane? No, we can't. Our, our attack is good, but they have been much better. Those two teams have been firing in. And goals much better. Her. Her. Spurs have the best defense in the league. Best attack? Probably Man City. I know Spurs just recently beat Man City. Game to win, really. Now they've got the lead at half. But that was more of a situation where City had a defensive climber more than it was C's strikers didn't show up. To see a good winger swinging in across like that. I mean, it was just manner made from heaven for the start. So, Arsenal, well, go away with that fucking bullshit and don't come back at, to me insulting my mother because I'm insane the truth. Well, they've widened the margin now. 3 0 they lead. I have no time for that kind of bullshit. And anyone who and if you were a person, if you happen to be listening, if you're that person, fuck you. I don't care, care what excuses Arsenal had. 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 You fucking lost, and you can see it four goals. You don't have the best defense in the Premier League. Think. Think. And I don't care who was in defense. You could have had the best defenders in the world, or in the history. You could have fact had Tony fucking Adams and Sol Campbell and they probably would have gotten owned by the Liverpool attack on that day. We were that good. They were that good. Admit it. And, and stop bullshitting yourself and being an embarrassment to your club.
Because that's what you are. When you make stupid, idiotic, hateful comments, you are an embarrassment to your club. And you should be ashamed that you, you even support. You shouldn't even have the privilege to support a football team. If you can't accept that, that someone telling you the fucking truth. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch football, okay? Because football is that way. You played Holding, you played Chambers, and they played fantastic. They just couldn't do anything about the goals. Goals. Does that mean they played bad? No. Does that discount that you did concede four fucking goals and it doesn't fucking matter? Yes. You did concede four goals. 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 And that does it doesn't fucking matter who you had. Like I said, it, even your best defenders would have had a trouble with the Liverpool attack on that day. And I'm talking at their prime, not as they are now. Because, of course, Campbell and Adams are retired years now. Although, some legends can still pull it off. Maybe he saw Campbell and Adams can. Who knows? Maybe they can, maybe they can't. I don't know, I haven't seen them in a while. Oh. Oh. But don't come to me with your bullshit excuses. Don't come to me with that. Attacking well here. Fabulous clearance. Quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA oh, look at that. Speaking of Arsenal. Huh. I, abs I, I hope Swan Day absolutely fucking hammered. I absolutely hope that. Speaking of Swan Day, I want to talk a bit about Swan Day. And my disgust with Swan Day. You're probably saying, what did Swan do? They sacked. You're mad. Um, Francesco Guilin, I think it's his name was said. Well, Swansea City go up against these, these new owners seem to have a fucking ego problem. You know, maybe it's just me. Maybe Swansea fans have noticed this. Gary Monk wasn't doing bad. All of a sudden, sacked. Wheeling wasn't given enough time. Yes, yeah, ones they aren't exactly in top of the league, but it's not like they're bottom of the league. He could have been given more time. I mean, the signs were there in the game against Liverpool. Swansea were amazing against Liverpool and probably deserved. At least a draw, if not the win. This is coming from a Liverpool fan who was actually capable of a main when his team were, were poor. Her. I mean, Swansea on the first half should have gotten three points. Second half, Liverpool turned, turned it on and they had trouble dealing with us. That's not the sw Swansea. Cannot be blamed for that. And the fact that Guilin got fired, I feel, I, th I think, I see that as harsh. I think that's harsh. I think he should have been given a few more games, maybe until January. I mean, already we've had our first Premier League casualty. I mean, Sunderland are bottom and are useless. And David Moyes is still in a job. Well, and, and Swansea have had a better start to the season than um, in Sunderland. And yet, Swansea are manager of this. At time of recording this. They might have appointed someone by now. The rumor is that they may be appointing gigs. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing. Bottom moving down. Well, Giggs has 
witnessed this mantras like Sorak Ferguson. He learned a lot from fifth bottom rising up the table. Um, um Louis Van Hal. Oh. And he learned what not to do from Dave Mo David Moyes. So maybe he maybe he is the man for the job. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. But let me just say this right now. If it comes to the point where Ryan Giggs is struggling, if he gets fired, don't come to don't 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 be uh scratching your head when I hmm. I wonder why the players didn't improve. We signed a manager. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe because they really liked playing for the last manager who you abruptly sacked. I mean. This is off the top of my head what I think might have. Now I'm not gonna s now I'm not gonna say Swansea are gonna down tools and just refuse to play for gigs or whoever takes over. Sure. They shouldn't do that. That shouldn't be the case. But if the case is that Swansea don't improve under their new manager, and he does get sacked, whether it's Giggs or whether it's somebody else. If they did down tools, the Swansea management, the Swansea board and all that, they have no one else to blame but themselves. Really, they don't. Now, the players didn't down tools when Gary Monk got sacked. If they did, it was noticeable. But. Excuse me. As it is, I think Gwilin should have gotten more time. I really do. Now, I'll make a fight if Swansea turn around and finish this with a flirt and become amazing in, in the next. Uh, up, up, upon appointing a new manager, whether it's Giggs or whether it's somebody else, I'll admit that I was wrong. But until that happens, I don't see why, any reason why Guilin shouldn't have been given more time. Just my opinion. Am I right? Am I wrong? You have to wait and see. Because none of us can predict the future. Boy, have I been waiting for this. The big game coming up in life. And the big game happening right now in FIFA 17. Liverpool, Manchester, nah, hit, hit, Anfield, let's go. Bring on Ibra, bring on Pogba. Uh, see if I give a shit. Spoiler alert. I don't. They are just names. I have my own big name. See him? David Alaba. And I'm the top goal scorer in the league. I don't know. Oh, you you know his name? Say, oh, Mane? 13 goal. Was in seven games. Just, just, you know, just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. So bring whoever you want, Manchester United. It isn't 
going to fucking matter. Is that going to help the attackers, do you think? Well, it normally does. It's the lead to one or two mistakes. Also, it's me versus Mourinho again. Liverpool against Manchester I almost forget that. Which gives me Alex it's an incentive to embarrass that fool. Liverpool, I think they're a good side, you know. They played very well in that away victory against Swansea City. Should be buoyant after that 3 0 win, but it's uh, only a draw. No one cares what the man lineup looks like. I think we could probably all guess it. Although, I don't see Paul Pogba. Goalkeeper today, David Alaba starts with Nathaniel Klein as the wide defenders. Roberto Firmino starts. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Firmino! There's a good reason I don't see him. He isn't there. Emre Chan. Hmm. He has got a chance to get the cross in. Interesting. Mata looks like he's in place of both Pogba and Wayne Rooney. <laughs> the irony of that isn't lost, is it? Considering Mata being at Manchester United is because of Jose Mourinho. Oh! Say your money! Hey. Oh! Serge! Give it a gift! Thank you very much! <laughs> Say your money! Hey, get a bit unlucky from a great save from the yeah, nothing new there. Stir it almost fucked it up. Oh, oh I think it actually hit the post as it goes in. And, and yeah, get the fucking. I wish I could really just go over the Mourinho and rub it in. Oh. And look at that, back-to-back -back goals for Daniel Sturridge because he scored in the Swansea game as well. So the first goal, it's one 0 Carrier. All of a sudden, he's gone above the Walkerini. And. Me starring him? Best decision so far of the career mode. Well, that. Mm, starring this career mode. Firmino. Dancing. Is around. Daniel Star. Right. Goes for her goal. Oh, oh, wait a minute. And Ray Chan. Hmm. Hmm. Couldn't put that in. Hmm. Oh, what? What was that? Sayomane press triangle. He passes it straight to the United player. What the fuck? Michael Cow. Mata. Ashley Young. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Ashley Young. Crossed in. Oh, he broke. That was close. It's, it's been cleared away. And the uh, counter attack. That could be on. Chan gets past Luke. Luke Shaw. Oh, yes. Whoops it in. Sonny O'Malley. Turrell. Oh. And how you like that, you fucking mank cunt. Get the fucking Liverpool all the way. Hey, 2 0. And is the undefeated streak intact? Yes. And they've got a goal to show for their considerable efforts. Yeah, and it was a good goal. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my previous videos, unless you're a new subscriber. In which case, welcome! I have an undefeated streak against Manchester United as Liverpool manager. I've never, ever lost to them. Ever. In any FIFA. As a Liverpool manager. I should specify that. And that's not going to change because it's 3 0. Oh, and Emery Chan is on the score. Report and everything. Everyone is getting it in full. Hold. Hold. 
Hans Hochkor for a great finish from the German. Not sure what he is doing for celebration. He's just like. Do whatever he wants. He did just score. This is the kind of. Uh, this is Mkhitaryan. I think attacking players favour Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And uh, you know, a little bit of miscon. Ibrahimovic misses the header, and the value climb will clear. Ah, I ran into shot by Ibrahimovic to our first throw. Situation. Roberto Firmino. Daniel Sturridge. If he beats back, Haley, it's going to be a goal. Ah. Oh. Haley at the time is tackle. Right. Beat Mane. Coutinho. Whip it. And looking for Sturridge. Oh, it's clear for a corner. Well, this might be. A jolt even to the much vaunted confidence of Ibrahimovic. He's just looked a bit under the weather. I don't know if he's poorly or whatever. Not been his normal shot. Me know. And there's the half time with this up. Oh, Dominic, first half. 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 All is good, all is good, all is good. <laughs> and even up against the mighty unbeatable Ibrahimovic. It's, oh my god, whatever will I do to against Ibrahimovic? It's not like I've ever played against him and beaten him before. Oh wait, it's PSG. Yeah. Ibra doesn't win you games. He scores a lot of goals. But he doesn't guarantee. He doesn't guarantee. Like Manchester United found out when they lost three games this season in a row. And drew against Stoke. In a game where Herrera should have been sent off. That's a spectacular save. Turning the ball around. He's hung on to it. You're a noticeable, uh, Absentee from the Manchester United team. Carrick is playing instead of him. Is a Herrera. It's all next time maybe he'll bury that. Sturridge unlucky. He has had her just off target. Oh the head! Oh Smalling and if I could have uh, if I had outstraight Smalling there the air would have had egg on his face, perhaps. Oh, just over the bar again. Could have been a massive contribution there. I don't know whether he just took his eye off the ball, thought the chance was a little too simple. He's on a high after scoring already, but uh, let himself down there. Oh, Ooh, I almost had it that time. I almost had it that time. Smalling looked a bit wobbly when I challenged him. Hmm. Very well. I wonder if the hair knows that. Manny! Oh, yes! Oh, oh! What? What was a circle there for if he didn't shoot? I pressed it! I don't know how many times. How? Just how? Freaking hell. Oh. They'll be hosting West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. That's good support play from his teammates. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Good save by Icarius. From our uh, one Mata. Oh, there's Paul Pogba coming off the bench. What is this witchcraft? And he's threaded the path through neatly. And now he's looking for some support. 
It's one matter crossing. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Say your money. Attacking well here. Doing well to keep the ball. Coutinho. Milner. Chan. Henry Chan. Oh, the passes are under cut. But I got it back. Down that over. Penalty. Now Come on, ref. It's not like I'm good at them. Henrik Mkhitaryan. I don't think I've had a penalty in open play yet. In either career mode. I'm trying to remember one. Three nil now, almost over. And this should have a good impact on the next game, Alan. Manchester United have Harry Kane as well. Of course they do. Tino puts it in. Firmino! Oh! Oh, it was almost a calamity! Hope <laughs> goal for or Darmian. Fell of a challenge from Mkhitaryan. Coutinho skips past Darmian. And Devin Alba! Oh, imagine! What a way to, what a moment to score your first goal that would have been. Coutinho. For real. Sorry, that was Manny. Oh, I'm getting so... Look off. Up and... So... Okay, your name's mixed up. I even though I could clearly see that was Sadio Mane. He accidentally said for Pino for some reason. Oh, this is not good for Manchester United. It looks like Smalling hurt himself with a, in the tussle against uh, Emery Chan. Looks like he can't continue. Here comes Daily Blind. Actually, that reminds me to make uh, my uh, at the episode institution. I need to get the ball out of place somehow, some way. Or the referee will just blow the fucking whistle. God damn it! I should have made this. I, if I knew Smalling was injured. If only I knew Smalling was injured. Ow. Oh, well. Crap, I forgot to do it against Swansea as well. Damn it! Seriously, I need to like put a note up to remember this shit. I get caught up in the moment. Chelsea three. <sighs> Crystal Palace one. Oh well. Liverpool. I will put that down as a uh, as a success and say. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace. Table. At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 24 points. In second, Chelsea with 19 points. In third, Stoke City with 18 points. In fourth, climbing the table are Watford with 13 points.